Hello, fifth graders. Welcome to Getting Ready for Grade 6, Lesson 18. Find the average. Please pause to write the lesson number and title in your notebook. Today's objective is to find the average of a group of values. Please pause to write the lesson objective in your notebook. Unlock the problem. Jonathan and Pillar are practicing on a juggling team. The table shows the number of seconds they were able to keep four balls in the air without making a mistake. What is the average number of seconds they were able to juggle? We've talked about average in fifth grade before. We talked about it when we made the line plots. We added up everything together and then we divided to find the average. So let's look here at the box before we begin. It says that we are going to ask how many trials did they record? If we look in the trials, we have one, two, three, four, five. They had five trials. Step one says we're going to find the sum of all of the data. They gave it to us, but let's go ahead and add them. 32 plus 8 plus 62 plus 55 plus 13. Pause for a moment and add all these together. Great job, you should get 170. Our next step is to look at how many numbers we added. We added one, two, three, four, five. And we know that there are five trials. Step three says we're going to divide our total, 170, divided by five. And they told us that gives us 34. So 34 was the average amount of time they could keep four balls in the air. Great job. In the try this section, we'll do all the work ourselves. Try this. Find the average of 61, 99, 106, 3, 44, and 89. Our first step is to find the sum. So let's line them up and add. 61 plus 99 plus 106 plus 3 plus 44 and 89. All right, in our first column, nine plus one is 10, plus six is 16, plus three is 19, and then we have nine plus four is 13. Let's make a little mini addition problem. Nine plus three is 12, one, and then three, so this is, 32. So the 2 goes underneath and the 3 goes on top. In this column we have 9 plus 6 is 15 plus 3 is 18 and then go past the 0, past the blank. 18 plus 4 plus 8 is 12. So 18 plus 12 gives 30. 8 plus 2 is 10 and then 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3. So 0, carry the 3, then 3 plus 1 is 4. Make sure that you write this down and do your own work, but when you add them all together, you should get 402. Our next step is to divide our total 402 by the number of add-ins. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we're going to divide by 6. So 402 divided by 6. 6 goes into 40 6 times, which is 36, and we subtract. We're left over with 4, bring down the 2, and 6 goes into 42 7 times, which is 42 even, no remainder. So it goes in a total of 67 times. So the average of this set of data is 67. Great job, 5th graders. Great job so far, fifth graders. Let's continue with the share and show problem number one. We'll start together and you'll finish on your own. It says, Tommy's basketball scoring record is shown for this month. What is the average number of times that Tommy scored per game? The first step is that we need to find the 
sum. So it looks like we have 24, 11, 31, 14, 9, 21, 18, and 8. Pause and add up all those numbers together. When you finish adding, you should get a total of 136. Now we need to know how many add-ins, how many numbers we added together. We can look at the chart that shows us how many games he played. He played eight games. And the last step that you need to do is divide 136 divided by eight. Go ahead and finish that problem and be prepared to show your teacher in class tomorrow. Great job, fifth graders.